everyone. So I'm sure you're aware by the title that this is a bookshelf tour. Yay! So many of you have asked for it. I've done two previous ones in the past. My last one I did in August and I know it's quite, it's kind of soon to be giving you another one but the reason I am giving you another one is because I want to say a couple weeks ago, maybe three, I think it was two, I hit 5,000 subscribers. Isn't that like, let's just take a moment for that to sink in because when I saw it I was, my jaw dropped, I was like, what? I never ever thought I would reach 5,000 subscribers. Like that's a huge milestone and I just, I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank you so, so much. Thank you for watching. All of you guys that have been there with me from the beginning, even though it's only been a year and a half, it's still a huge milestone to reach 5,000. It's, it's just an honor, honestly, to have this many subscribers and I just, um, it really, uh, as lame as it sounds, warms my heart to see all of you guys leave comments and subscribe and like watch my videos. It just makes me happy. Like I love doing this and it's a, it was a hobby but now it's more of a passion if that makes any sense. I just, I really love doing this and I love talking to you guys. I love meeting you guys and I love books and uh, I'm just so excited. So I want to make a bookshelf tour for you guys because you know it's 5,000 subscribers. Why not make something great? And I know everyone, at least for me as a booktuber, I love watching bookshelf tours the most. A couple quick things before that. Um, you also see in the title that there will be a giveaway and you must wait at some spontaneous time in this video to watch and see what the giveaway is. Um, I will be giving away three books to one person so you know, stay tuned for that somewhere in between this video. Watch the bookshelf tour first. And the second thing is I really wanted to film this new bookshelf tour because my last one was such bad quality, the lighting was awful, my camera was not that great, and this one I had my husband accompany me do it, and he shot the footage for me, and it should be much more stable, much more nicer quality, it should be just a good quality bookshelf tour and I was really aiming for that. And once again, thank you for 5,000, it just means so so much to me, thank you guys. You are, and to all you new subscribers, hello out there, hello, welcome. Welcome to this channel, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you, you know, stick around and stuff, and I love you guys, and you are awesome, and thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm gonna say thank you, 59 times, ready? Thank you, 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 thank you. So enjoy the bookshelf tour, and stay tuned for the giveaway. This is my bookshelf! It's very tall. I'm at the top of my bookshelf. Um, up here is where I keep all of my mass-produced paperbacks, the very, very short ones. This is a very, very old copy of The Fellowship of the Ring, which was actually my father's and he gave it to me. And it's very beat up, but I really like it because it's his favorite series. It's probably where I got my love of books from. It's from my dad, so I like keeping it. It's just very um, sentimental to me, is the word I was looking for. Next book is Anne Rice's Interview with the Vampire. I have not read that. This one is A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. The one of the very few Nicholas Sparks books which I haven't read. The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisenberg. If you guys watch my um, top 10 movies, you know this is one of my all-time favorite movies. I have yet to read the book, or maybe I have because I've marked it, I don't remember, but I will read it one day. This is where it gets dicey because these are parts of the Sookie Stackhouse or True Blood series, but I don't own all of them, nor do, do I know which order these are in, so I want to say Living Dead in Dallas is the third one. I'm not too sure on it. I'll leave an annotation at the bottom letting you guys know, but I have read two of these, but the ones I own are Living Dead in Dallas. Club Dead, Dead as a Doornail, and Definitely Dead. And these are all by Charlene Harris, and they're all based off of The True Blood Show, which is on HBO. Julia and Julia by Julie Powell. This is also one of my all-time favorite movies. I guess I have a knack for collecting books of my all-time favorite movies. I haven't read this one yet. The book I have is Nicholas Sparks' The Wedding. Next was another Nicholas Sparks book, The Rescue, which is one of my all-time favorites by him. Legend, I haven't read that one yet. And I have a random Meg Cabot book, Haunted, which I have read. And then right here, um, I have three Nora Roberts books. Now, both two of these are in her series, 
The Bride Quartet. This is book two and book three. This is Bed of Roses and Savor the Moment. I really enjoy this series. It's an adult series. And the next one I have is A Day Away by Nora Roberts. This is just one of her standalone. Borrowed by Emily Giffith. If you, this is also based off of a movie, or this book was based off a movie, rather. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbotsky. The book I have is Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. This is another old, old book. I think I got this one when I was like 12. The books are just Jane Austen books. I have Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, and Emma, all by Jane Austen. The next book I have is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, one of my all-time favorite classics. And two right here are more Nicholas Sparks books, Dear John, which I have not read, and Safe Haven, which I really enjoy. This might be my all-time favorite Nicholas Sparks book. Right here is Jodi Pocault books. I really, really adore her. She is an adult author, but I highly recommend her even if you guys like YA. It's just, she's a really good author. I have The Pact. Picture Perfect, The Tenth Circle, and My Sister's Keeper. Next, I have this, The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Um, I'm sure you guys have all heard about this. This won a ton of Oscars, and it's a very, very good book. One of my all-time favorites. And the last book over here is the last book in the Nora Roberts Bride Quartet series, which is Happily Ever After. And that's all for the very, very top shelf on the right of my bookcase. These are books I have not read yet, so I like to keep them all together to know if I've read them or not. And the first book I have is Allie Carter's High Society, which I actually am planning to read this month. Maggie Steve Otter's The Raven Boys, which I tried to read last month, but I could not get into it. I don't know what it is. The next book I have is Origin by Jessica Clurry. I'm actually planning to read this one this month as well. I have is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And if you can tell, this one is a signed copy. Green autograph. That's pretty cool. I'll probably never meet him, but at least I have his autograph. Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rosenberg. Being an Italian by Lauren Henderson. Wake by Amanda Hawking. Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. Sorry about all these price tags. As you can see, they're all from Walmart, and I just haven't peeled them off yet because I'm lazy. <laughs> the Alchemy of Forever by Avery William. Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Au revoir, if that's how you say it. I'm not French at all. Crazy European Chick by Joe Schreiber is Colin Fisher by Ashley Edward Miller and Zach Stein. This right here is actually one of my favorite bookshelves. I keep all my favorite books that are part of series, more likely. The series I have is The Hunger Games. So it's The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. And they're all by Susan Collins, but I'm sure you all know that. And then right here I have the Hunger Games Tribute Guide, which is something I randomly found at Walmart. This book I have is Julie Kagawa's The Immortal Rules, and this is part of a series. This is only the first book. The second one hasn't even come out yet, but I think it will this year. I'm not sure. I have the Lunar Chronicles series, which is comprised of Cinder and Scarlet. This, this one, actually, Scarlet, just came out this past month, I believe. And I'm very excited to read it. The next series I have are the Legend series. So we have Legend and Prodigy by Marie Lu. Here I just have a random Hunger Games Mockingjay pin, which I found at Walmart. I just like keeping it next to the series because it looks pretty. The series I should say is the selection by Kira Cast. There's um, the sequel to it called The Elite is coming out soon this year, but it's one of my all-time favorite series. Plus the cover is amazing. It's beautiful. So I have one of my all-time favorite series, which is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. It comprises of Delirium and Pandemonium. And Re Requiem? I'm not too sure if that's what it's called. is coming out later this year. You guys all know how much I love that Divergent series. This is one of my all-time favorite series. I cannot get enough of this series. We have Divergent and Insurgent by Veronica Roth. They're actually making a movie of Divergent, and I don't know when it's coming out, but I am so excited! Then right here I have, I'm really into collecting old vintage cameras because I'm a photographer. So I have this really old one. That I just keep this random book I found called The Little Big Book of Love. It just has, it's all about love and I love love. Just vintage stuff in it. And this is an old pocket watch that is my husband's, but I just like using it for display. You know, I can't fish, but one day maybe, one day. right here is where I like to keep a lot of my favorite contemporary books. These are probably my all-time favorite contemporary books. 
The first one I have is The Waiting Sky by Lauren Zeeland, and this is actually probably my favorite cover of all time. I mean, it's a tornado in a mason jar. Doesn't get much cooler than that. The next book I have is Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles, another really good book. And then I have two Cody Keplinger books, and I love Cody Keplinger. She's one of my all-time favorite authors. So I have Shut Out by her and A Midsummer's Nightmare. I have Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry, another one of my all-time favorites. It's just a very amazing book. And then, of course, I have some Stephanie Perkins up in here, and we have Lola and the Boy Next Door, so I love that one. And another one of my favorite covers, just because of the, um, the book spine with the cool pinstripes, is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. One of my all-time favorite contemporaries is Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. I love this book, and I love the cover. It's got powdered sugar and cookies and a girl's dream. All of these right here are my paperbacks to be read. I haven't read any of these, but... I'm not keeping them organized, no, I haven't read them. Caught My Darling by Golda Freed, or Fried, I'm not too sure. She actually sent this to me for review, and she even signed it. Dear Heather, thanks for checking out my book. I love your Bookables channel. Enjoy. How oh, nice. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to pull out the rest of these because that would just be too kind time-consuming. So I have Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, Bump by Megan McCafferty, Firelight by Sophie Jordan, I Am Number Four by Epidicus Lore. Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by, oh, I don't know who this is by, by Morgan Matson, The Predix by Christine Stieford, Illuminated by Erica Orloff, Everlost by Neil Schusterman, Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins, Five Flavors of Dumb by Anthony John, The Demon Trapper's Daughter by Jana Oliver, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R. Tolkien, Glitch by Heather Anastasia, Angel Burn by L.A. Weatherly, Paper Towns by John Green, The Truth in the Matter in the Final Hour by Andrew Claybon. This is more part of my favorite um, books right here. I have my favorite sporadically, randomly, but whatever. Um, right here we have the Across the Universe series, which is by Beth Rev Revis. Revis, we'll never know. So we have the first one. Isn't that a beautiful cover? We have A Million Suns. And then just to show you the difference of the last cover is Shades of Earth. What the heck's going on? We went from Cosmic to Tarzan. I don't like it at all. We have the Maze Runner series by James Dasher. So we have the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, the Death Cure. Then we have the Kill Order by James Dasher, which is a prequel. I will put it beforehand, but I have two paperbacks with a hardback, so it would not look good. Next we have the Unearthly series by Cynthia Can. So we have Unearthly, Hallowed, and the latest one that just came out, and the last one is Boundless. It's beautiful covers. I have the Shade trilogies, which is Shade, Shift, and Shine. I don't know where my sh shift is. I think it's in my car somewhere, but we'll pretend it's here. And these are by Jerry Smith Reddy. Then we have the Under the Never Sky series, which is one of my favorites, is Under the Never Sky and Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi. Some other random books that I actually have not read, or I think it's a mixture of I have read and have not read. They're just very tall books. I have The Guardian by Nicholas Sparks, which is a really good book of his. The Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing by Melissa Banks. I haven't read that one. Give it Be It by Allie Vincent. She was on The Biggest Loser. Leviathan series by Scott Westerfield. So we have Leviathan, Behemoth, and I'm not sure if the third one is out yet, but I don't know. The next book I have is a random one, Erica the Edible by Adam Richman. If you guys have seen that Man vs. Food show, which me and my husband love to watch, it's his book about, I think he just travels around for food places. I found this for extremely cheap, so I had to get it. The picture of um, Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, and I love this cover. I just love how cool it looks. And then even the pages are silver, if you can see, so that was very, very cool. The Wonder Spot by Melissa Banks, and I actually love this book. Melissa Bank, excuse me. This is a really good book as well. Then I have Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer's Between the Lines. And then I have Tina Fey's Bossy Pants, which I love this book, and the cover is hilarious. Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin, and she wrote The Happiness Project, which I've told you guys about. I love that book, and this is more, I wouldn't say it's a self-help book, but it's just a book to make you feel happier. <laughs> It's just, it focuses more on home book, The Casual Vacancy. Well, 
forced to have my Harry Potter series all together. I would put them in a better place, but they are beat up and mangled, as you can see. I've had it since I was 11, and they have taken a turn for the worse. So whenever I get new copies, I'm going to put them up higher and be proud of them because these are just awful. And then here, I just have some Harry Potter glasses because every girl should have a pair of Harry Potter glasses because it makes all the guys go wild. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Right here I have all my Cassandra Clare novels, my one of my all-time favorite series. So I have the Moral Instrument series and then I have the prequel to it which is the Infernal Devices series. And again, I didn't put the prequel beforehand because I have this paperback which I need to find a City of Bones hardback desperately. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and City of Lost Souls. And then for the Infernal Devices, we have Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince. This bottom shelf is a bunch of random books. Um, I have Love Letters and an anthology of Passion, which my husband actually got for me. It's a bunch of old love letters in it. You know, obsession, because that's part of love. Inspiration. It's even got like old, old letters into it. It's very, very cool. I have Harry Potter page to screen. This huge of a book. It is massive. And then I have Harry Potter film wizardry. And then right here I keep my favorite magazines. So right here is actually my favorite photographer. She came out with her own magazine called Expose. Jasmine Starr. I'm in love with her. She is my photography inspiration. Then I have a bunch of random entertainment weeklies that I like to keep. I have Chopsticks by... Who is this by? Jessica Anthony. This is a virtual book, I think. It's just like a picture book almost. And you have to... It's a story that you buy in iTunes. It's a very unique one. Then I have Pawnee, The Greatest Town in America, which my husband got for me for my, my birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's based off of Parks and Rec and Leslie Nope, one of my all-time favorite TV characters. It's all about Pawnee, Indiana. Series, which is not complete, but they're by Rochelle Mead. I have the graphic novel of the first one. Then Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Spirit Bound, and Blood Promise. I think there's one other one. And then I have her other series, Bloodlines. The Strange Angels series, which I think I'm missing a book out of this one as well. But I have Strange Angels. This is by Lily St. Crow. I have Strange Angels, Jealousy, Defiance, and Reckoning. Then I have Maury Young's Blood Red Road and Dustlands. I've heard immensely good things about this series. Then I have Beautiful Creatures in Beautiful Darkness by Kate Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I then I have Kiss Me Deadly, which is a... I actually won this a long time ago. Then I have Remember Me by Michelle Maddow. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, one of my favorites. Reckless by Cornelia Funk. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. Nevermore by Kelly Cree. Royally Crushed by Nikki Burnham. Inside Out and Outside In by Maria V. Snyder. Enclave by Ann Aguirre. Virals by Kathy Ricks. This Guy is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, Generation Dead by, Jan by Daniel Walters, Babe in Boyland by Jenna Gearham, and then Lauren Conrad's My Style Icon, by the way. I have her beauty and her style book. She is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here I have my Twilight series. Don't hate. Every white booktuber has this in their bookshelf. And I quite enjoy this series. So I have Twilight, The Director's Notebook, then Twilight, then New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, even though I do not like this one at all. It's probably one of my worst favorite books ever. Sisters of the Travel and Pants series by Anne Brasher. I read this when I was extremely young, and it's always been one of my all-time favorite series. I have Wither and Fever by Lauren DiStefano. The Wolves of Mercy Falls series trilogy, which is Shiver, Linger, and Forever. I lent out Linger to a friend, but... I haven't seen it since. So that's what happens, kids, when you lend out your books. You never see them again. Ukulele from Hawaii. I'm very good at this. All right, then I have this old 8mm camera, and it's upside down. Isn't that cool? Very, very cool. This is a Kodak and even like folds in. <laughs> and then I have a random bird thing. I have random things on my bookshelf. And then I have another um, section where I keep all my favorite contemporaries. 
So I have Duff by Cody Tufflinger, one of my all-time favorite books. And The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, 20 Boys Summer by Sarah Ockler, and then all of my Sarah Dessa novels. I'm a big Sarah Dessa fan, if you can see. And I have all of her books here, I think, except for Along for the Ride. I have Just Listen, The Truth About Forever, This Lullaby, Keeping the Moon, Someone Like You, That Summer, Dreamland, Lock and Key. I also don't have What Happened to Goodbye, but I have read that. Then I have the Summer I Turn Pretty series by Jenny Han, 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 Han. I have the Summer I Turn Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. The next shelf I have, um, I actually skipped about three shelves because they're all my movies and TV shows. I'm actually going to do a video of my movie and TV collection, so stay tuned for that sometime soon. But um, right here, we just keep various versions of the Bible and different Christianity books. I have some more random books that I've read. I like these books, they're just not my favorite, so I just keep them on here. I have Over You by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Then I have Entwined by Heather Dixon. The Friday Society by Andrea Kress. The Tempest by Julia Croft. The Rules of the Dark Side by Beth Fantasky. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler, and The List by Sebovian Vivian. Alright, so my very last shelf. I believe Betty the book. Um, it's just a book about the show. I love the show. I think my husband got, yeah, my husband got this for me. It's very, very cool. I'll always cherish it. A series, which I missed in the first one. So I have The Iron Daughter, The Iron Queen, and then The Iron, the Iron Knight. I'm missing... I don't know which one I'm missing. Then I have The Fine Art of Truth and Dare by Melissa Jensen, Halo and Hades by Alexandra Ornetta, Elixir by Hilary Duff, John Green's Looking for Alaska, which I liked. That was a, it, was, it, was, it was pretty good. Then I have Time Riders by Alex Scarrow, Wolf's Bay by Andrea Crummer, After Obsession by, what a creepy cover, Carrie Jones and Stephen E. Wendell. Then I have Lauren Conrad's Sweet Little Lies, Change, by Jennifer Bosworth. I have Nocturne by Christine Johnson, The Haunted by Jessica Verde, another Lauren Conrad book, Sugar and Spice, Candace Bushnell's The Carrie Diaries, The Best Night of Your Pathetic Life by Tara Alter Brando, Michael Vay's The Prisoner of Cell 25, the sequel to Elixir by Hilary Duff. I keep them separated because one's hardback and one's paperback. And then I have Blood Rose by Andrew Kramer, which is a sequel to Wolfsbane, which I keep separated. So I hope you enjoyed my bookshelf tour and on to the giveaway. So I thought for 5,000 subscribers I would do a nice little giveaway. I selected three books um, for you guys. And the three books I am giving away are Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, um, one of my favorites. I love this book. Across the Universe by Beth Rose, another one of my favorites. And... Oh, oh. Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead, and I actually have not even read this book yet. I haven't even finished with the Vampire Academy series, but I know people love it and adore it, and I don't know, I thought I would give Bloodlines away. So you can win all three of these, and the rule, and I just have simple rules for you guys, right? No, nothing too hard. Check on all of them in case you do win, just to let you know. Rule number one, you must be subscribed to this channel. That's a given. Number two, you must be a Twitter follower. My Twitter um, name is Bookables1, and I will leave all the links down below. And number three, follow me on Tumblr, and I will also leave the link for that below. All the rules, just those three rules. Just follow me in those three places, and you are in. But you also must leave a comment just saying, enter. That's all I want you guys to say, because I know a lot of other people will comment and say, awesome, all that stuff. If, if you want to enter the giveaway, just write in the comments, enter me in the giveaway, or just entered, or something like that, that I will know that you entered for sure. And that's that. The giveaway will end on exactly three weeks from now, so it'll end on March 29th. So you have until then to follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Tumblr, and leave a comment, and that is all. So I hope you guys enjoyed the bookshelf tour, and I hope you enter the giveaway, and once again, thank you for 5,000. Bye, guys. Breathe in, come closer For it may be the first time Your thoughts grow 